हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड आफ्टरनून वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो इन माय लास्ट क्लास आई कंप्लीटेड द डिस्कशन ऑन द प्लॉट ऑफ द नॉवेल द ग्रेट गैप्स बी बाय अमेरिकन राइटर एफ स्कॉट फिट जेराल्ड टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टर्स इन द नॉवेल एंड एज वेल एज द थीम्स एंड सब थीम्स दैट आर प्रेजेंट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर नॉवेल so to begin with we need to understand that there are five major characters in this novel they are one of course the protagonist j gatsby second character is the narrator of the novel his name is mr nick caraway third character is daisy buchanan she is the wife of tom buchanan and lover to j gatsby fourth character that is tom buchanan a rich man living in the east egg part of long island and the fifth important character is jordan baker she is a young woman she is a golf enthusiast and a golf player these are the five important characters you need to remember in this novel these are central characters or we call them as major characters coming back to the other sides or supporting characters we have minor characters such as george wilson who is a garage owner living in the valley of ashes and then we have his wife martil wilson unfortunately she is uh, one of the most tragic characters in this novel and then we have mr wolf shame who is like a guest appearance in this novel he comes for some time and then he is shown to be a friend and a mentor to uh, j gatsby then we have another character clip springer he is an assistant a sort of assistant and uh, he takes advantage of mr gatsby's wealth then we have another important character that is henry c gats g a t z gats he is an old man he is the father of gatsby even his appearance is towards the end of the novel when there is the funeral scene of mr gatsby so these are the characters you need to remember then after understanding the names or after remembering the names of these characters we need to understand their relation interrelationship between the characters so the first central character we have is j gatsby and there is some mystery about this character which we will be uh, which we will be discussing a few minutes later j gatsby is a rich man living in in the west egg part of long island nick caraway is a young man who has come from uh, midwest to new york in order to learn something about bond business and he happens to be a a neighbor to j gatsby and later he develops friendship with j gatsby which remains a very close and uh, a true friendship till the end and then we also come to know that this man nick the narrator is also related to tom and daisy in some way daisy happens to be his distant cousin and tom happens to be his old classmate and both tom and daisy are husband and wife living in the uh, east egg part of new york uh, long island in new york and then we have jordan baker she is a young woman she is not a relative of anyone but we see uh, it seems that there is some sort of a relationship between uh, nick caraway and jordan baker although it is not a completely established relation even at the end of the novel so it seems as if it is a love relation but it is we are not sure about it and then we have the character george wilson who is owner of a garage small garage he is a poor man living in the valley of ashes now this valley of ashes is a very it's like a slum area i think i have already mentioned about that in my last lecture so this man george wilson is living in the valley of ashes along with his wife marty wilson and there is 
a love triangle happening here. Tom, Tom Buchanan is in extramarital affair, he is in extramarital relation with Myrtle Wilson and George Wilson is unaware of this. On the other side there is also a love triangle. Daisy who is wife of Tom is in love with Jay Gatsby or rather it is the other way around. Jay is in love with Daisy. And then the other character that is important is Wolfsheim. This man called Mayor Wolfsheim happens to be a friend, old friend of Jay Gatsby and he keeps on telling that he, he is the reason for the great wealth and fame of Mr. Jay Gatsby. He is the one who brought him into this world of richness or aristocracy. So this is about Wolfsheim and at the end of the novel we have this character Henry Gads. When this character comes into the scene we really come to know what are the origins or where are the origins of Mr. J. Gatsby. So Henry C. Gats is the one who comes at the end. He is the father of J. Gatsby. So he comes at the end and tells how J. Gatsby was a promising young boy when he was a small child. So these are the characters and their interrelations with each other and we have to also know uh, what happens in the course of the novel. So Nick is falling slowly in love with Jordan Baker but it is not a clearly established relationship. And this friendship, friendship between Nick and Tom starts um, disrupting because of the behavior and the nature of Tom slowly and towards the end of the novel we, we see that Nick realizes the worth of this man Tom. He is not a man who is worthy of any respect because he seems to be only a hypocrite. And then George Wilson, the husband of Tom's lover, illegal or illicit lover, he is used by Tom in order to take revenge upon J. Gatsby. Now this is very interesting plot of the novel here. Uh, you might have focused about uh, focus about this aspect in the plot discussion we had in the last class. So Tom uses this man George Wilson in order to avenge the murder of his lover Myrtle, Myrtle Wilson and thereby George Wilson kills Jay Gatsby and ultimately George Wilson kills himself also. So these are the things and yes, Myrtle Wilson, she is a poor lady, um, she becomes a victim of this whole plot. Unfortunately, she gets killed in an accident and the car driver was Daisy and not Tom. But since the owner of the car was Tom, the accusation comes over, uh, sorry, not Tom, uh, Jay Gatsby. Jay Gatsby was the owner of the car and the accusation of murder comes on J. Gatsby. So this is about the characters and how they are related to each other. Then, so we will now discuss in detail about the important characters here in this novel. So first we will discuss about the central character J. Gatsby. So he is no doubt the protagonist on whom the novel itself is titled The Great Gatsby. It refers to this man called J. Gatsby. Now there is some sort of an aura, um, aura around this personality called J. Gatsby. He is also a mysterious character because he is living in one of the most luxurious parts of America, Long Island, that too in the West Egg part and nobody knows where his wealth came from. Nobody knows how he earned his money and how he became so successful. How is he able to manage so many parties? Every weekend he organizes such lavish parties that many celebrities come and attend the party. How is he, how is he able to do that? Nobody knows the mystery behind the wealth of Mr. J. Gatsby. So it's a mysterious character as well. Alright, so there is a lot of 
aura. The reason I say this is even before the character becomes a live character in the novel, that is in the third chapter, there is already a lot of discussion that is happening about this character, about the parties that he is arranging and that it, it raises the curiosity in the mind of the readers as well. So there are a lot of discussions, talks, conversations between Nick, Jordan, Jordan and Tom. Uh, so there are many people who are talking about this wealthy man called Jay Gatsby and there are a lot of rumors being spread but nothing is for sure, nothing is confirmed. So we start having a feeling that this might be a very old, well established rich man. But the true fact is that in the third chapter, we come to know that he happens to be a young man. Jay Gatsby is shown to be extremely friendly. That is the reason why he is arranging so many parties. And he is extremely friendly towards uh, his neighbor, Nick Caraway, our narrator of this novel. The reasons might be uh, many. One important reason is that Nick was in close contact with Daisy who happened to be Jay Gatsby's lover. So as the novel proceeds, as the story proceeds, we happen to listen a lot of rumors about Jay Gatsby, which might be true, which might not be true, we feel in the beginning, but they are later confirmed as we read the further chapters in the story. So this man is shown as the symbol of youth, symbol of richness, symbol of a person who is in a constant pursuit of American dream. He is a lavish, lavishly rich man. He lives a luxurious life. And what is he living that for? He is living that kind of a life only to impress one person, that is his lover, Daisy. We also come to know that his original name is James C. James Henry Gatz. And he used to live in some part of the central uh, central area of American some states. But in order to pursue the wealth, wealthy lifestyle, he did a lot of odd jobs. There are stories, there are versions to Gatsby's past saying that he was a bootlegger. He involved himself in organized crime. And there is also another episode where um, Mr. Wolfsheim says that it is he who introduced uh, Jay Gatsby into the business of organized crime and that is how he earned money and so much respect. There is another version which Jay Gatsby himself has created to bring out a positive image about himself in the society. He keeps on saying to whomever he meets, he keeps on saying that he participated in the World War I uh, in the US Army and he was placed as a second uh, lieutenant and so many other stories related to war so that he can have respect in the society. And he also says that he had been to Oxford which which establishes him in a uh, in an elite society, elite class of society. So these are all the images that he himself is creating in order to uh, show that he is a rich man. Not just that, he comes from wealthy background. So this is a point of hypocrisy. We need to understand that he himself is a corrupt man. But should we really call Jay Gatsby a corrupt man becomes a challenge for us. Because there are plenty of other characters who are being corrupt there, who are playing with money, who are earning money in uh, through wrong ways. But Jay Gatsby also has done the same thing. But the purpose that he is doing is not so bad. Okay, He is doing all these things in order to impress his old lover thinking that she would come back to him. So whether should we really call this man as a corrupt man is a challenge to the readers. When there are lots of corrupt people around, how can you point out at this man and say that he, he was the only corrupt man and that is the reason why he went, he earned so much wealth. Anyway, he might be corrupt, but the reason he was doing all these things, the reason he was living this kind of a lifestyle was not a bad reason or was not a bad purpose. <clears throat> so
so he we see that he is in pursuit of the american dream lifestyle so what we have already discussed about american life or american dream we see he is his life is full of materialistic pleasures he has possessions material possessions there is a scene where in uh, daisy his lover comes to his huge mansion and in order to impress her <clears throat> he keeps on throwing lots of shirts and t-shirts in front of her showing that these are all new shirts that he has purchased this he does in order to show his wealth to the woman he loves and in turn even daisy is impressed she expresses the feeling of excitement and wonder saying that she had never seen so many shirts in one person's house so she is equally impressed by the wealth of this man called jay gatsby and there is another reason why i call this man a hypocrite he changes his name when he comes to the city he changes his name he was originally james gats and now when he becomes a big shot man of long island he names himself as jay gatsby and the other important characteristic trait you find in this man he is that he is extremely generous okay he invites lots of people to his parties which are expensive parties but he does not take or rather he does not expect anything in return from the people from the guests who have come to attend this party even when we see him dealing with his neighbor nick how he develops the friendship it is through the character of generosity he is extremely generous he is very friendly he offers lots of um, privileges to his neighbor nick caraway and that is how he impresses he keeps on impressing people in his circle that is how he becomes a charismatic personality and generousness is of course an important trait in this character so we need to understand the contrast of two different features two different traits in this one man on one side he is corrupt till now whatever amount he has achieved till now whatever richness or aristocracy or the status he has achieved is through wrong means and he accepts it in uh, when he discusses with uh, um, nick caravi he accepts that he has been a bootlegger for many days he participated in organized crimes so there were lots of rumors about it also so on one hand he is corrupt and on the same on the other side in the same personality we find the generosity as an another important trait so this is something interesting so he is friendly he is friendly to many people that's why many people many big shot people from new york long island so many people keep coming and attending his parties he is generous he has made really good friendships with people then another important aspect we need to understand about this character in fact it is his tragic flaw so you might know about this term called a tragic flaw for example in uh, many of the shakespearean dramas this concept is used tragic flaw the characters in one person are extremely good for example we take the character of king lear he is a great king he happened to be a great king he is extremely rich he is a generous man but although he has so many good characters there is one fault he believes blindly and that's we see how his daughters treat him at the end of his life so that is that that quality of believing blindly is a tragic flaw in the character of king lear and then we have the other character in which there are, there are plenty of course shakespeare in dramas are full of such characters where in everything is perfect but only one mistake in the character of that person leads him to tragedy so in this way 
even in the character of Jay Gatsby, if you look at this character from the perspective of an American who was living in the twin, uh, who was living in the uh, Roaring Twenties, he seems to be a perfect man. But he has one flaw, and that is his mad pursuit for an old lover. Okay, so this we need to remember. Throughout the novel, we see him to be an over dedicated lover. It's good to be a dedicated lover, but he is so serious about his lover that he is in mad pursuit. For example, he knows already that Daisy, whom he had loved once when he was working, perhaps he was working in the uh, U.S. Army, he was in love with Daisy, but because he was not rich. Daisy did not marry him. Okay, he she waited for him for about two or three years, and then she had to marry another rich man called Tom. Now Jay Gatsby knows that she is already a married woman, but still, and it is difficult to get her back in his life. Still, he is pursuing to get his lover back. So he is in a mad pursuit of his past love, and this leads. Him to into lots of troubles. There are lots of episodes in the novel which show how his mad pursuit leads on to his own tragedy. Even though he was a great man, even though he was um, one of the big shot people of New York society, this was his fault. So what happens when he meets Daisy in the beginning? I mean, it is Nick. Who, in, who makes this meeting between Jay Gatsby and Daisy possible? So when he meets, he expresses his love once again, even though knowing that she is already married. And in turn, she also responds to his feelings in the same way. She says that she still loves him, and this man is now in mad pursuit for her. He goes to the house of Tom. He is in fact invited by Tom. To a party, to a lunch party. There again, in front of her husband itself, he directly confesses that he is in love with Daisy, and Daisy does love him truly, and that he will have to leave Tom. So this is this seems to be some kind of a nonsensical behavior, and uh, this leads to the further tragedies that happen. So this episode. Becomes a turning point in the novel. Now Tom is furious. Tom is angry about this man who is trying to take away his wife from him, and he starts thinking negatively about this person. He wants to take her revenge now. And later, we have that episode of car accident, wherein unfortunately it is Jay Gatsby's car which has hit. This woman called Marty Wilson, who has already died in the accident, but the driver was Daisy, and Tom knows that it was Daisy who was driving the car. But because now Tom had the power of money, he manipulated the things, and he um, he told he instigated George Wilson to kill Jay Gatsby, telling that it was Jay Gatsby's car, which was the Which hit the woman called Myrtle Wilson, and then we un- in another episode we see the mad pursuit of Jay Gatsby for his past love. So there is another episode wherein he knows that it is Daisy who has driven the car during the accident, but he takes the accusation on himself. he wants to confess before the police that he has he was driving the car in order to save his lover who did not love him at all now because she was already conspiring with her rich husband tom because she wanted to live in a secure place in society but unfortunately jay gatsby doesn't know about this he still keeps on hoping that daisy will come back to him but unfortunately he meets his end in this hope unfulfilled hope then we have another aspect of this personality jay gatsby it is his mysterious past 
nobody seems to know how this man became so rich and there are lots of rumors spreading around in new york city spreading in, along the area of uh, long island that he was a criminal that he had murdered a few people and that that he was a bootlegger that is how he earned a lot of money that he had some um, godfather behind him in his organized crimes that is how he earned money so there are a lot of stories being told about this man which give him the stature of a mythical hero almost a mythical hero and then jay gatsby has his own version of the past he too wants to show that he is a positive man he wants to hide his true personality so he does not tell about the crimes that he was invo- involved in he has created his own false image in the society saying that he worked for the us army he had been to oxford so overall when we look at this character we see that it is unfortunate character jay gatsby although he was so much a rich so much of a rich man such a lavish man luxurious lifestyle still he had some feelings of inferiority in his life and that is the reason why he was in pursuit of so many things so many pleasures in his life the first thing why we need to understand the psychology of the characters jay gatsby was rejected because he was poor earlier when he was in relationship with daisy daisy rejects him on the basis of his um poverty he was not a rich man when he was in relation to in relation with daisy and this rejection has negative impacts on this personality he starts dreaming for a rich lifestyle and that becomes his ultimate aim in life perhaps he would become a, a great man in different ways that that's what we come to know at the end when henry gets the father comes to the funeral of his own son jay gatsby he remembers the old days when jay gatsby was a small child he used to write in his diaries about some positive things in his life so henry gatsby had a different image how his son will become or how his son will become but jay gatsby in mad pursuit of american dream in mad pursuit to prove that he is rich meets his own tragedy he is surrounded by people who are more corrupt than himself so it is the rejection it is the social rejection which leads him on to the 